lot of people concerned right now simply about the next 10 days or so. Wisconsin's 2014 deer hunt nearly upon us. But rifle hunters in Michigan have already been in the woods for five days now. Deer hunters typically telling us that uh, a little bit of snow does help tracking. But significant snowfall in the UP is keeping some of those hunters away from the woods. Along with the temperatures of 20 degrees below average and a smaller herd of bucks, a Michigan DNR biologist describes the conditions as almost disastrous for the deer season. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe has more from Iron County, Michigan. Deep November snow won't stop Sarah Sleva. My husband says he created a monster because his wife spends more time out in the woods than he does. So. But the Crystal Falls resident admits 15 inches of snow on the ground is not ideal for hunting. It's bad. Um, getting dumped on with all the snow really hurts. Like, you can't even get into my deer blind right now. Inside Fob's restaurant, we found hunters from southern Wisconsin and Illinois who have also changed their approach. I've gone out and walked around a little bit, but I don't want to go too far, you know. The Michigan DNR reports across the UP, 50% fewer deer have been checked in this year compared to last year. Along with the weather, the DNR says there are more explanations for lower numbers. Very few antlerless deer permits were issued in the UP this year, and while encouraged, it's not required to check in deer. A lot of hunters are saying that they're seeing quite a few does and fawns, um, a lot less bucks than usual, but that's also to be expected just because of the last few winters we've had. Dragon says the heavy snowfall caused deer to move around. Some hunters are finding them on migration trails. Doesn't seem like there's too much of a secret, just more so getting lucky and being in the right place at the right time. The slow conditions in the woods are being felt in at least one local business, which relies heavily on the deer season. I count on all the tourists that come in here, all the people from lower Michigan and, and lower Wisconsin and uh, Chicago area and, and that to come. I, I expect these people to show up. That's my business. Summers says his meat processing shop is the slowest since 1997. On a normal day during a normal year, where this is kind of an abnormal year, uh, we would see anywhere between 20 and 50 deer a day coming through the door. He reports this year only 6 to 12 deer are dropped off each day at his Crystal Falls business, but we met one customer who was more than eager to drop off his first buck. I tracked it by myself. My dad just followed right behind me. This 10-year-old spotted a four-pointer Wednesday morning. Then my heart was pounding. It felt like it was in my throat. And um, when I shot it, and I got a perfect shot right in the heart. Cop confessed the deep snow tired him out walking back to camp, but he and other hunters are dedicated, no matter the weather. I work till 1 o'clock every day, and once I get out of work, I go home, take a five, and then I hit the woods. If we had 40 feet of snow, we'd come here. Michigan's firearm deer season ends November 30th. In Iron County, Michigan, Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News. Oh, that was a pretty cute young hunter there. The Michigan DNR says that some hunters might be waiting to check in their deer because the animals can hang outside longer this year, and that's because of the below freezing temperatures. Conditions could get a little better in the UP this weekend as the temperatures warm up, but rain is also in the forecast.